LS is a fascinating and a powerful oh. rocket, guys, that they're going to be using to send these astronauts to the moon and beyond. Let me introduce you to the SLS, or the Space Launch System, which is the rocket that they're using for the Artemis 1 mission. So here it is. This is the SLS. This is the huge rocket currently standing on launch pad 39B this morning over on Kennedy Space Center. It stands 322 feet tall. For comparison, if you've ever been up to New York City and you've seen the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is about 305 feet tall. So this thing towering over Lady Liberty up there in New York. And this thing comes packed with some very powerful rockets. These rockets have 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust, and that is more than the Apollo Saturn V rocket that last took astronauts to the moon. So what are we working with here? Well, this thing actually is able to send 59,525 pounds of cargo into deep space, which is that ferry that's going to be bringing all the cargo and everything that we need from Earth to the moon or to, you know, some orbiting space station. But it all is going to be controlled partially by the astronauts right there in the Orion space capsule and it can hold five astronauts. No astronauts currently in the SLS or Artemis 1. This is an uncrewed mission, but the next one, Artemis 2, will be sending some astronauts to go around in orbit around the moon. Okay, let's talk about the launch here today over, well, I say today, it's tonight, technically, at 104 in the morning. So the launch window is at 104. It'll stay open until 304 in the morning. Weather should not be an issue, though we are watching the potential for some cumulus clouds to cause some concern. So right now the forecast is for 90% go weather conditions. Of course, weather has been an issue with some of the attempts at launch, but also technical issues have been a concern as well. So